protein formation starts in the machinery called as ribosome i think you are able to connect this with the proteins topic we have learned in the cell organelles so when protein formation start first amino acid always which come is methionine and remember it also provides the methyl group so methionine plays an important role by providing the methyl group for many reactions in the metabolic reactions of the human body of every living cell another function of the amino acids i already told in the back page that was the non protein amino acid is in the urea cycle now there are two non protein amino acids which are ornithine and citrulline and these two are involved in the urea cycle which occurs in the liver in this process carbon dioxide reacts with ammonia to form a molecule of urea details will come in the excretory chapter another function of the amino acid is uh, the importance of an um, amino acid called alanine alanine is important because it forms the vitamins and it forms the coenzyme a now what are vitamins we all know that they control many of the reactions in human body and vitamin is important for uh, the defense so they they are something like uh, enzymes they function in a different manner not exactly like enzyme but very vital for the reactions to go on properly and then aniline also is a participant in formation of coenzyme a Uh, in the respiratory chapter you are going to learn the importance of coenzyme a so it is important for respiratory pathway uh, another one is tyrosine so remember tyrosine is an amino acid which produces skin pigmentation so skin color is because of the protein we all know which is called as melanin so melanin uh, is responsible for darkening of the skin color the more we are exposed to the sunshine or the more we are the indian skin basically has a lot of uh, melanin so melanin is the pigmentation and this pigmentation de develops from tyrosine so there are reactions which go on in human body and this tyrosine will change into melanin so without tyrosine skin pigmentation is not possible remember it is even important for the hair hair pigmentation so skin pigmentation hair pigmentation tyrosine is important and in the same manner tyrosine also give rises to hormone called as thyroxine so we know that thyroid gland prepares a very essential amino acid which controls sorry very essential hormone which called as thyroxine which is important for basic metabolic rate control sexual development physical growth metabolic reactions and everything so your body temperature everything is controlled to a great extent by thyroxine and adrenaline we all know the fight flight and fright hormone so whenever we are in an emergency situation adrenaline uh, adrenaline will release adrenaline so adrenal gland will release adrenaline hormone which this hormone is again if uh, derived form from the tyrosine so tyrosine plays an important role in the same manner there are there is an there is a amino acid called as tryptophan now tryptophan Uh, is important because in the case of plants in tenth class you have learned about auxins. Auxin is one of the phyto hormone or plant hormone. So there is an example give mentioned here that is IAA. IAA full form is indole acetic acid or the complete name indole three acetic acid because at third position indole is attached. So uh, IAA is a type of amino acid. Uh, sorry, is a type of auxin hormone. and this is formed this is formed from tryptophan amino acid and in the same manner there are many vitamins which are formed from tryptophan next is cysteine which i have already explained in the last sheet also that disulfide bonds are very important how are they important we'll be learning in protein topic that protein uh, whole long chain of protein of amino acid turns into protein so how to provide stability to this long chain the answer is disulfide bonds so disulfide bonds are present and these bonds are only possible if sulfur is there so sulfur is basically present in the methionine or is present in the cysteine Uh, another one is glycine glycine now glycine forms the porphyrin of the chlorophyll now we know chlorophyll is important pigment for photosynthesis and without this chlorophyll uh, this process of preparation of food is not possible so the food chain is functioning nicely carbon dioxide amount is controlled in this world 
reason is chlorophyll so chlorophyll cannot be formed if glycine is not present because glycine forms an important portion called as porphyrin head of chlorophyll we will be learning this in the photosynthesis chapter and in the same manner heme group of hemoglobin cytochrome of the respiratory these are respiratory substances we will be learning later in these classes of 11th class so uh, these compounds also contain glycine so glycine plays an important role in formation of chlorophyll hemoglobin as well as cytochrome and the main important function of amino acid these amino acids join to form protein that mean amino acids are the building block of protein so proteins are the polymers of amino acid and then there is a particular sequence of amino acid which is controlled by the genetic makeup so dna controls the sequence of amino acid and amino acids join to form protein